Rewrite is an interactive orchestra experience that's never been seen before, which allows you to really experience what it's like to be part of a symphony orchestra playing the Rite of Spring by Stravinsky. Nice in there. Yeah, I'm not worried about it. The project was a huge, a huge thing to manage, and the shoot itself was one of the most complicated uh, shoots I've ever been involved with. The run-up to that process was working out how we could film every different angle of the orchestra but trying to keep isolation on each instrument so that you were looking at the trumpets but you couldn't see much behind them. Um, but that's quite complicated to do when you also have to have 106 musicians looking at a conductor and seeing what's going on. The Rite of Spring was, was chosen for the project because it really demonstrates what a symphony orchestra is capable of and despite it being almost 100 years old, it's still really fresh and interesting in terms of the sound world that the orchestra creates. It's also written for a huge orchestra, 106 players, so it really gives you a sense of what a symphony orchestra is capable of. For the first version of Rewrite, we wanted to put it into the heart of London, somewhere close to Southbank Centre, our home at the Royal Festival Hall. But we also wanted to take a space that was really different to a concert hall. Essa Pekka-Salonen's idea was to get away from the red velvet and gold environment that concert halls can sometimes feel like. So we found a warehouse space on the Southbank, which was halfway between the Royal Festival Hall, our home, and Tate Modern. And we really drew on the ideas of Tate Modern, allowing visitors in for free, and the fact that people can walk around at their own pace, have a coffee while they're walking around, chat to people while they're walking around and find out more about it. All these things you could never do in a concert environment because it would be disturbing the concert. But actually, Rewrite is a halfway house between the two where you can experience classical music and enjoy it, but also chat to people at the same time and find out why people are doing what they're doing on the stage. So it's good for people who have never seen classical music before. And to add to that, we added in live musicians. Members of the public could go up to those musicians, chat to them about what they do, how they do the work they do, what music they've got on the stand, and also hear what it's like to be sat close to a musician. If you're sitting next to a tuba player, the amount of noise they make is phenomenal. But you'd never normally experience that in a concert hall. You only hear the sort of polished sound of the orchestra. And actually, in Rite of Spring, being up close to some of these instruments is a really engaging, exciting experience. <laughs> So once we finished in London, uh, we took the project up to Leicester and took it into a completely different building in Leicester, an abandoned nursery school, which was a very different field from the Barge House. And then in January of 2011, we took the project to Lisbon. And there we had one big open space, one floor, that we then had to subdivide into smaller spaces and rooms. And the project was really, really big success in Lisbon. We had almost 14,000 visitors in, in two weeks. And from that, we're taking the project to Dortmund, in November 2011 for four weeks in the art gallery in the centre of Dortmund. I found the range of people coming through it and the way they all got something out of it was the sort of thing I found most interesting about it. Because you had little kids running around and you had older people taking it at a slower pace and you had people going around with a score because they knew the piece and they were marking things in and you had people just going around sort of almost dancing around the space because it was loud and energetic and, and physical in that sense. And I was also amazed by how long people stayed. I thought people would come in, stay for 10 minutes, leave. And in fact, the sort of average visitor time was more than 45 minutes. Now when the piece is only 36 minutes long in, in itself, that's quite amazing that people were staying for, for longer than the piece of music and really experiencing it. And some people stayed for days. Some people came for a whole day and then came back the next day. Rewrite's a really interesting project because it could work anywhere. It's a project that could go into a kind of uh, warehouse space like the Barge House, somewhere that's not used to having classical music. But Rewrite could also work in a gallery space, a much more traditional gallery space, rather than a warehouse where you have to adapt everything to the warehouse space. We could put it into a gallery. Or it could go into a kind of front of house space or connected to a concert hall in some way. And the great thing about the project is that, for us, is that it changes every time. 
what we did in London is not the same as Lisbon and it won't be the same as Dortmund. So it keeps it, the project fresh because we're always thinking about different ways we can connect up the spaces and connect up the audience with the orchestra. Thank you.